Hey everybody, welcome to the Tips Weeks Podcast. I'm your host, Eric Van Lidas. And, uh, you know, as the weather's getting a little bit cooler here in Houston, Texas, I think we're down from the 90s, now we're in the 80s. It's time to put air in the tires. So if you check it out right now, I'm actually down to 46 and 47 PSI here on the tires. I'm over here at Discount Tire, just getting aired up. Ask him to pull it, pull it up to 51 PSI um, since I have been open around a little bit already. So they're going to air me up and uh, I'll go ahead and 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 get uh, get air in the tires. And just, just so y'all know, I've been reading a little bit on the forums on Reddit and things like that. And a lot of folks have been saying that they've got to replace these tires at like 6,000 6, miles. I've got about uh, maybe 2,200 miles on the truck so far. I'm hoping I don't have to replace them at 6,000 miles. They look they look pretty good right now, so hopefully not. I've been, I like for the first one or two months, I was on beast mode like all the time. So that does eat up the tires quite a bit. Of course, it's a really heavy truck, so you're gonna see um, the tires be too, chewed up a lot. So, uh, but now I'm on chill mode or on standard mode just for kind of everyday driving and uh, hopefully that prolongs the use but i'll keep you guys up to date as to whether i'm going to need to switch out the tires or, or what the case is with that but anyways just a reminder check your tire pressure i know the model y the other day um it was pretty low i think uh, i had to get i had to add like eight psi to those tires so remember if your if your tire pressure is low you're going to lose a lot of uh, tire life on those and on these EVs since they're so heavy you know the tires do get eaten up pretty quickly so uh, just for any reminder hey everybody just back here I guess it's a good day to do a little bit of maintenance now turn so, right on to brace main track uh, I'm over here navigating to the Mr. Car Wash gonna go ahead and go through the drive through I know back in the day there was a lot of uh, scandal because they said that uh, cyber trucks couldn't go through the car wash without them breaking down uh, so I just wanted to go ahead and film film this. I do get the the truck washed through the unlimited washes probably like twice a week. So I'm doing it pretty often. I haven't had any problems so far. So just gonna take you guys through the process here. Feet, turn right onto Main Street. I know the uh, whenever you select to get in a car wash mode and stuff like that. Actually, the first couple of times I was doing it, it was a little bit confusing. And even then, it, it's kind of right not Main Street. super easy just because we've got to put it in neutral or put it in car wash mode. But I'll walk through some of that right now um, as we get into the car wash. <clears throat> the truck right now is driving itself to the car wash, so it's kind of fun. Um, as you can tell, I, you know, uh, we're able to get navigate through the streets and kind of get there without really any issues. Um, it's uh, the the full self driving is actually working out pretty well. Uh, so uh, I'll go ahead and jump into when we actually get into the car wash. I'll, I'll see you here in a bit. All right, so we're just pulling in here to the car wash. I'm gonna go into our unlimited membership here. Maybe I should get Mr. Car Wash to sponsor us over here. What do y'all think? <laughs> Between the, the the two vehicles, we're here pretty often. Let's see. So just to let y'all know, this is kind of. Also, it's like really tight here. If you notice, like we've got to get pretty close up to this uh, fence over here to make this tight turn. But I'll go ahead and show you guys what I ended up and what I end up doing here um, on the screen. So I usually just go here to the to the main menu, and they actually have a shortcut here for a car wash. So I'll do that. I used to go into the um, maintenance menu, but you don't really have to do that. It just uh, tells you you go into car wash mode. It does all these different things like um, locks all the port doors and does the automatic wipers and things like that. I like to fold my mirrors when I go into the wash because on my X3, I did have um, at the car wash, they did get knocked, not one of them did get knocked down. So <clears throat> I'm here in the car wash. You can see uh, this is what it looks like here as I'm gonna get in the tenant just went away just for a second so he usually guides me in but um, this is usually what I have to do uh, so this part is pretty easy now you see there's uh, uh, there's this enable free roll here 
I'm not really sure. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But once you get up to the front, it does kind of get a little bit nerve wracking. So, <clears throat> uh, but I think here they're gonna guide us in and I'll be able to put it in neutral is usually what I end up doing. I usually press the brake and hit neutral up here um, in the PRNDL here. Uh, so uh, I, I'm not sure what's going on here. I think they're scared of the Cybertruck. Let me find out what's going on. All right, I guess we're good to go. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in. I think they were doing some maintenance when I showed up, so. Um, but as you can see, it's just kind of like a normal process as you're getting into the car wash here. Yeah, they still want me to go, 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 go. All right, I'm good. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in neutral here. You see this? There it is. See, sometimes you gotta push it a couple times, but I think I'm good. You see, they're gonna clean up the windshield here for me. And <clears throat> I don't know, I, I think I must have splashed through some oil. So I had a bunch of oil stains on the side of the truck a little earlier. So I'm trying to get some of that cleaned up. But, um, uh, here we go. As y'all can see, we're just going to go through the car wash just like normal. There's nothing scary about it. You see, they've turned on the lights for us. It's kind of like a party in here. see it's a huge windshield <laughs> and a huge wiper everyone always comments on how big the the wiper actually is um, and this windshield It does a pretty good job uh, of just cleaning things up. I come in here pretty often, so there's not usually a big buildup of, of dirt or grime or anything like that. Just part of kind of the weekly maintenance of it. <clears throat> Starting the rinse here. And then at this point, I usually unfold the mirrors again. So that the blowers here have a chance to blow the water off these. It does get a little bit louder in here. Here we go, the final <laughs> drying of the top. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. That's it. The truck is, for the most part, pretty clean here. We'll wait till we get the green light. And then what I do is I push the brake and then I swipe up to go into drive. And then we're off again. So, and we're pulling out. And that's pretty much it. Then I tell the truck, navigate home. Now turn right onto Main Street. And I am navigating home and I tell it to go ahead and drive for me and it'll take me home. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you all kind of the uh, drive through car wash experience. I know a lot of people 
again had heard about the rumors that uh, the truck dry uh, dies here, but it does pretty well. So as you can see, we're still going. Hey everybody, and just so uh, y'all can see, the uh, truck did turn out pretty clean after the car wash. <laughs> I figured you guys were gonna ask me what what it was gonna look like, uh, but you can see it does look pretty good. Um, just again, just going through the car wash, nothing special. It does clean up pretty well. You don't really see any handprints or anything like that. It does take care of that uh, without any issues. Uh, weird story. I just um, so as I was coming back from the car wash, <clears throat> I, I there was a toddler walking down the street by themselves. Um, it's really weird and no one was around so i stopped to you know see if i could help <laughs> and fortunately someone came out of one of the houses and i said hey is this your kid he's just walking around here by himself uh they said no we don't know whose kid this is i said okay well uh i'll leave him up to you they they looked a little bit worried i think seeing me get out of the truck and and seeing a kid about to get um taken i guess i'm not sure but um in any case uh they said they would find find the home hopefully that little kid's okay M couldn't have been more than like two years old or something like that just walking around in the neighborhood by themselves anyways interesting story for today uh you know what that's all i got so i'll talk to y'all next time Dale.